This is a special ARM podcast as we speak with session presenters and keynote speakers direct from the show floor at the Music City Center in Nashville for ARM. I'm Bill Klaproth. With me is Nancy LaMaster, CEO of Nancy LaMaster Consulting and an ARM LUC Executive Committee member. Nancy is doing a session titled ISM Hospital Report on Business. Nancy, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate this. So the big question is, COVID opened the door to the C-suite for supply chain professionals. So here it is. How do we keep that seat at the table? I think one of the things that's really critical is that during the COVID crisis, a lot of the focus was on the tactical issues of how do we get supplies? How do we get enough supplies? How do we get them where they need to go? And that was critical. But going forward, what's going to be so also equally critical and important to the supply chain professional being seen as a key part of the C-suite team is our ability to bring knowledge to the table, to be that trusted source of knowledge, not only about what's going on in your immediate world, in your community, in your hospital, but more importantly, what's going on globally related to the supply chain? How does that impact your organization? And how does that change your thinking in terms of your strategy? You really want to be seen as the person guiding the organization and developing the strategy going forward in addition to managing the day-to-day tactical things that need to be accomplished. So for the supply chain professional, you talked about you know bringing knowledge to the table and then talking about strategy. For someone listening to this podcast, when you talk about strategy, what would be, give us some tips on a potential strategy moving forward. What should they be paying attention to in that strategy? I think one of the critical new tools that's available for healthcare supply chain professionals is the Institute of Supply Management's Hospital Report on Business. This was developed in conjunction with ARM, and it measures 15 key indexes on a monthly basis. And it really gives insight into what's going on globally, what's going on with supplier deliveries. And in addition to doing a report on business, ISM also does a report on manufacturing. And again, this gives us some idea of what's going on with shipping delays, what's going on with commodity products and raw materials, so that you may have insight into the fact that there's a shortage of plastics and that could influence the price and the availability of a lot of healthcare products, which will give you the ability to guide your organization and allow you to potentially change your inventory strategy in a very proactive way. So it's that ability to scan the environment and provide knowledge beyond your immediate operation so that you could be more proactive in determining how you're going to manage your supply chain. So scanning the environment, and you talked about data, too. It sounds like data is really important. If you come to that table with data, new data, that can really shape the direction or shape decisions, that's really going to be important to the C-suite. So it sounds like data is critical to this. And I would take that a step further. It's not only data, it's the insight that you can provide from that data. So they're going to be looking to you to have interpreted that and to be able to speak to not only the global trend, but how it applies to that specific facility. You want them to see you as their own internal consultant, that you can provide them actionable information. And that's a change from a couple of years ago where it would be just give me the order, I'm going to sign it, and I'm done, I'm go away, or whatever. But now the importance of the supply chain manager really has been showcased because of the pandemic. Is that correct? I would say that's absolutely correct. And now you want to take it one step further where you're looking into the future and you're providing that guidance of not only here's what is our immediate problem and our immediate demand, but maybe we need to be looking at our how we are using these products. Maybe we need to be thinking differently about how we're actually going to acquire and distribute things. So it's providing more nuance and providing more insight to actually drive the organization forward versus being in what I would say kind of a reactive mode where, yes, somebody's saying, I want 10 of these, just go get them you're starting to say, well, maybe you only need five, and maybe we should be using product B instead of A. So you really become that internal expert. 
So the supply chain manager really has been elevated because of this and can really bring those insights and data as you talked about. Anything else you'd like to add? I just would encourage everyone to take advantage of this opportunity to learn more about the industry and to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to take that step towards a more strategic viewpoint. See yourselves as more than just the firefighter getting product from A to B, but bring your insight and don't be afraid to share your expertise. The organization needs that. Absolutely. Nancy, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And that is Nancy Lamaster. And for more education like this, please go to the ARM Knowledge Center at arm.org slash knowledge dash center. Thanks for listening.